everybody. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday as always. I have a few things I want to share and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the message, but instead of doing the devotional today, I'm going to leave the link of the message on my pay on the post so you guys can watch it because it was so powerful um, and a lot. So it was Memorial Day. And before I get sidetracked, I'll read you what God gave us uh, in prayer, but um, just a cool... Uh, so. Uh, I just, it's hard. So I completely understand my parents' reasons that they want me to not drive with Connor in my car alone. And so basically I just have to wait until um, they are able to bring him and me to church. But they are at the property this weekend, which I'm glad that Connor gets time there. I guess he slept two and a half hours for his nap yesterday at the property. Um, so, but it's just like, I, I always just long for that time of being able to take him. So, and next weekend, um, he's gonna be, uh, one of the things, and I, it's something that I'm so glad and thankful for, but I, um, if Con, my mom or somebody else will be around if Connor's, uh, if my parents are gone, so they are gonna be gone this next weekend, um, for, special couples thing and they're gonna leave Connor with Isaac and Jen uh, which I again completely understand but it's like so I know I will just have to be patient for when I can bring him to church so hopefully in three weeks um, but also God knows the desire of my heart and I think in his perfect timing then that will be the day that I'll be able to bring Connor with me to church. So, okay, uh, something really cool. Also, side note, um, Sue's granddaughter, Zoe, was able to come and pray with us, and she is just precious. She's just full of the love of Jesus, and I am going to always be bringing my name book with me now because I just love to look people's names up and you know, prophesy over them and bless them. And so I got to do that. Uh, Zoe's name, I looked up and it was just a really awesome prayer time. So the service was about, um, the, it's a, a story of just this guy. You'll have to watch it because uh, he was a Navy SEAL and he, but he had this really strong faith. And like everybody was sobbing, weeping in the service. Like everyone you could hear, even Greg, I, the men, the women, it was like just one of those that just, uh, it's very powerful. So um, you guys can check out the link um, that I will put in this post. But I also, in conjunction with that, um, we were in prayer as uh, Renee, Rhonda, Sue, and Zoe, and me, and um, God just gave me a picture, and at first it was just rain in the service, like pouring heavy torrential rain um, happening, and I just felt like that was God's healing rain, and then I saw, um, well, two more things. Uh, one, um, that God is like, the ones, the wounded soldiers, the wounded warriors who have been in combat, that Jesus is, is like hugging them from behind and just holding them and that they're like, they don't have to stand up on their own and that he is just um, holding them and hugging them at the same time. And then after I saw that, I realized that the rain was actually like God weeping over them, um, each of the men that carry that, um, that horror that they have had to walk through in combat and uh, that they, these hard hearts that have, they've had to create in themselves so they can get through what they had to and that the rain, God's weeping, rain is like softening their hearts like in the service and um, bringing healing to the, those really heartbroken places that each um, of those veterans carry. So, um, and then let's see, uh, Sue also got rain, um, and, um, oh wait, Sue, hold on. 
she just prayed for a softening of the hearts, and that was funny because I had just gotten that word. And then um, Renee had said, um, God of restoration, God of shalom, which is peace, uh, and um, people affected by PTSD, like walking out. Uh, hold on. Different. Let's see. Uh, okay, anyway, yes, that God is just bringing their, the healing and the enemies, um, the shofars, that's what Sue saw, and I couldn't read, um, shofars are blowing, uh, and the em enemies are being defeated, um, as we, the shofar is like the call to protection, or that's, yes, so that is the words, and I'm going to, uh, the song is gonna be Alive, um, Yes, Alive will be the worship song, and I'm going to include the link. Um, and yes, I, I know you guys are going to be rocked, so make sure that you guys watch it. It's, I think only about 30 or 45 minutes, So, but you'll get sucked into this guy's story. So I hope you all are having great Memorial Days, and I just declare a blessing over you guys and just wonderful weekends with your families.